give us the best explanation you can on, on where things stand on that front. Well, I think they were just a little bit late getting in here, to be honest with you. I don't. Uh, I know he had a phone call to make, uh, you know, with his agent, and um, I don't know what was discussed. How much contact did you have with Eric between the time you found out about the neck and today? Is this the first time? No, we've talked a few times. Yeah, it's tough. You know, talking about his family, he just had a kid. Um, you know, it's a big blow for everybody, and. Um, you know, we're all just soaking it in. This was fast news. And as Eric said, unfortunately, it got leaked on Friday, I believe. Um, so that kind of threw a wrench in everything. But yeah, how do you fill this leadership void? It's, it's a big it's a big void. You guys know what the leadership he brought. Um, there's a reason we re-signed him in August and uh, have hoped, um, you know, we extended him two years, and you know you always hope to get all the years. Doesn't always happen, unfortunately, it didn't. But um, no, that's a big void on the field in the locker room, and, and uh, we'll do our best to try and, and do that. So the, fact that, the fact that there are that he's still on the roster does that is that an indication that there's some unresolved contractual stuff? Well, we don't have any cap room right now. Like you know, you roll it over, so um, he'll be on our roster for a while until we figure things out. Not to get specific, you know, you can't do that, but is there a certain way that you have to kind of approach this as far as the CBA is concerned, all different kinds of designations? Is that what you're working yeah, through yeah. right now, basically? Yeah, that's all what it is. It's just, uh, we'll get it worked out. He'll do stuff on his end, and we'll do it uh, with the help of the league office and the management council, and uh, we'll, we'll figure it out from there. Is, is it disappointing, is it disappointing in, this, in this sense that this, the day that you hope to send Eric off just became something to this effect, just a statement. Well, that's why you just celebrate. you just want to you don't want to try and right. celebrate it. Hopefully, he can celebrate it again. Um, I think it's neat that he was able to get a lot of ex-players and friends and a lot of guys that are in this locker room here and staff, and that shows what Eric meant to the team, the community. And um, I'd really rather just leave it at that. I think that's the fair thing for him and for us Playing right football. now. Uh, I believe that's what he's been told. Now, uh, again, we're still working through it. We're not going to do any designations till we get a finality from both sides. No, it's, you know, Eric's a good guy and he brought a uh, good personality to the locker room. Like I said, he was one of the guys I know everybody, the media wise here went to in certain situations, good or bad for this team. Uh, even as I was coming on board, I was looking at some of the guys that generally in front of the microphone. And so he, he brought a leadership, you know, captain, all those things. And I think somebody asked earlier, that's hard to feel on the field, off the field. Um, but uh, we'll do our best to, to get that done. Brandon, so as I understand it, you're still trying to figure things out in terms of both sides, in terms of some type of settlement, CBA-related, how it's this goes. And I didn't hear you say definitively that Eric Wood feels he's done playing football. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to get into that, whether he's definitive or not. I think we're still – this is all fresh. It's all new. Um, there's never a perfect timetable for somebody to come up and, and talk about a situation like this. This is um, – Again, I just hope we all, you know, as we report on this and write about it, we can support Eric and write about his day and, and try to make it about him and not about, you know, us going forward. What was the purpose of this, though? Like, you have all these people here for, for that, for a minute and 42 seconds, and then he left out? Yeah, I mean, th this, is, this, is, this is Eric's day, you know. Um, so if he wanted to talk for 20 minutes, he could talk for 20. I mean, that... You know, that, that's not something I could really answer. Did the team it set this up or did Eric ask for it or how did it come about? I think you know, it was I think it was mutual.